Hello and welcome again to Dancing in the Shadows. Let's talk about a little bit of the foundation of this podcast. I'm, you know, I'm going to be bouncing around a little bit here and there in uh, this grand story that I'm telling. It's really the story of my life, uh, the many experiences that I've had that has shaped who I am today. I have loved and lost uh, quite a few times. I'm sure most of you have. And I'm at a stage in my life where it's time to open up, let people in to the person that I am and the person that I've become. Because for the most part, I've kept my true sense of self um, to only a very few throughout my life. I've shared glimpses into the person I am with many. I mean, most people get an idea of who I am. But my true self, my, my innermost self, um, my life story is is essentially only shared with a few people that I've known most of my life. They've been able to witness much of what I've endured. That's what we're getting into. You know, I've been in a depressive state for a long time. And I've been in the light uh, often, but sporadically throughout. What I'm trying to say is I'm in the dark more than I'm in the light. But I'm always looking towards the light. I know where it's at. And this is probably the first time in my life where I'm seeking to walk towards it. I want to pull myself out of this darkness. And that's essentially what this podcast is about. It's about me coming to terms in real time. You are listening and sharing in my experience in real time as I go through this process of opening up and merging my conscious with my subconscious or my unconscious mind and then delivering it. And uh, that's going to help me reach um, my next level. I realize this now. But a part of this is, part of the getting to the light is sharing the dark. Sharing the dark is essentially the only way. And I'll explain why. You ever have a secret that is eating you alive and you need to tell someone? What does that do when you do that? It takes off that pressure. It removes some of that burden. That's what this podcast is doing. It's allowing me to share the darkness, to share the burden amongst hopefully thousands of you at some point. Maybe more, I don't know. You you just never know. Sharing the darkness is not to pass my burden, it's to disperse it and then let it fade with memory. Because when you share something that's difficult, that's eating away at you, it takes off that pressure. It shares the burden, it opens up conversation, and through that, you're able to disperse it eventually into nothing gone. And that's how we're able to heal ourselves emotionally. It's the only way. Because if you carry it, it becomes a part of you. The only way to release it is to let it go. You know, there's um, something that hit me like uh, recently, I'd say a few years ago. I had a female roommate. She was great. She's very beautiful. And um, I never crossed the line with her. I've always You know, even though I was super attracted to her, she knew that I was, but we had a very comfortable friendship uh, up to a point, and that story may come later time. But um, she picked up on my depression, and um, I think there was something in my house that I was showing her. I was giving her a Marilyn Monroe tin sign or gift from an ex-girlfriend, one that I've uh, struggled to get over. I had these gifts that were from her, you know, displayed in my apartment. I think I have this little owl thing that she gave me. It's sitting up on my uh, banister. And, um, you know, there was just little things like that, that are knickknacks that were around my house that were gifts that she'd given me over the time that we had dated. And she's like, you know, do you realize that you having these objects um, in your house on display um, are really hindering you from moving forward? I thought about what she said with an open mind. And I was like, wow, you know what? She's right. Because when I see them, I'm reminded of her, the time that we had, and uh, the damage that uh, I took by uh, that relationship, emotional damage. And uh, it definitely was a catalyst in my depression. So when I realized that she was right, I also realized that by letting go of these objects, it would steer me to a place of healing. And uh, then I started thinking about the baggage I carried, you know, for myself and my experiences and, you know, being uh, raised in this cult uh, ideology. These are things I need to let go. And that's what this podcast is allowing me to do. And together, uh, we disperse this negativity that it becomes a memory. And, uh, you know, I encourage all of you to share, you know, the things that you're going through, you know, comment, let it go. Sometimes just writing it down is a release. This stuff works. And I hope that there's people out there that aren't taking this information in and maybe reflecting on some of the things they're going through. 
You know, what have you experienced in your life that you still carry? That you know you could just let go and move past would be great. Well, you can. It's possible. You just got to tap into who you are and share it openly. Let it go. Let it become a memory. There's more to talk about. I think at the stage that I'm at um, in our conversations about my family, I think I'm still probably six, seven years old. Actually, not even that. I'm, s I'm still in my five or six year old age because it's seven years old. It's the moment that changed my life. It's the most difficult thing I've ever had to experience. We're going to get into that next. Stay tuned. Please subscribe. And thank you for listening. It means a lot.